Tiki String Kids here, and today, before I start the video, I just wanted to let you all know that next week I'm going to be in Tennessee, the week of spring break here in Augusta. Well, you know, most people have spring break on the same week. Anyways, that yeah, I'm going to be on spring break, so my Etsy shop is probably going to be on, um vacation mode because if something sold I was going to be gone the whole week I'm going to Tennessee that's awesome I've never been to Tennessee so I can't wait I'm going to Gatlinburg, Dollywood expect vlogs coming you know I got you but yeah um I can't have my Etsy shop open because if something sells they'll have to wait a whole week longer just for me to get home to make it and or to ship it I don't know I'm trying to be honest here I don't know so it's going to be on vacation mode, I'm sorry about that, but it will be reinstated, whatever you want to call it. I'll restart it right when I get back. Um, also, what else was there? Having a lot of brain farts here. Need to stop eating so many onions and beans, right? <clears throat> Am I right? No. Mm -mm. Um. Get on the camera and y'all look at me and I just forget. Yeah, um, there will still be a video, hopefully, coming up next week. I'm not entirely sure about that either. My boyfriend's bringing his laptop with him to Tennessee. I would bring my laptop with me, but I'm already packing so much stuff, so I don't think I can. So maybe if the cabin we're staying in has really good Wi-Fi, I'll upload a new video. It's going to be... I don't know. It's going to be the one that you're about to see. Let me be clear here, because I'm just all jumbled up. The video I'm recording now is the one that you will see that will hopefully be uploaded the week of spring break. If not, it'll be uploaded before or after spring break. I'm so descriptive, right? I'm so helpful. Not. But anyways, that's enough talking. That's enough updates. Etsy shop closed for spring break. We'll be open when I get back. And now we're about to start our video, which I don't know when it's going to be. It's going to be before, after, or during spring break. But this is a baby necklace pendant, or I'm going to have it as an or option on my Etsy shop as a keychain. I will probably list this under my keychain section since there's just not enough stuff on my keychain section. I'm lazy. I don't like keychains as much. They get broken easily. People just show them in their pants and they just go. But yeah, anyways, let's get into the video. See you on the flip side. Hello again, YouTube. Like you just saw prior, that little video introduction. Ooh, my screen's really, really dusty. Um, anyways, this is, like I said, Baby from Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location. This is a pendant. It can be a keychain or a necklace. I will have it as, like I said, an or option on my Etsy shop. It will be listed under the keychain section. This is so cute, and it's about an inch tall, not including this. Um, wide, it's almost two inches wide, not quite there. Um, if my fans out there do centimeters, I'm sorry. I hope your ruler has centimeters and inches. I don't. I didn't do the centimeters. I always do inches because I'm in America. Anyways, you will need acrylic paint for this tutorial. And you're going to need polymer clay for this tutorial. I use green, black, and white acrylic paint. A nice light green. If the eyebrows are too harsh for you to do as well, you can also just paint those on. I do that sometimes. I didn't do her teeth because they would be too small and be too fragile. But I hope you all enjoy this. Let me just show you the back side. It's nice and flat, as you can see. It's kind of hard to tell. But yeah, nice and flat. Alright, I've already talked enough in the prior part, so let's get into this tutorial. Alright, to start this tutorial, you're going to need the following colors, white, this Primo Purpy, and Sculpal, Sculpey Red. You can use a different purple, but it's up to you. First, we're going to take the white. Disclaimer real quick, I am kind of sick with my allergies, so I sound rough. Anyways, roll out about, I think it's about an inch long, I'm not sure. A pretty big ball, however big you want the charm to be. Go ahead and press it down. And after you press it, it's going to look like this. It's not too thick. It's maybe a centimeter tall. Keep it small so you can use it as a keychain or a necklace. Then take one side and pinch it between your fingers to give it like a pointed chin look. Like you can see here. Because she kind of has like a butt chin is what it looks like. 
but either way, she has a pointed chin. Then you're going to take your long blade, <coughs> excuse me, I just use this because it's easier, go down the middle, then go across, like right above the eyes, and then right below where you would have the eyes, and then you're going to take your point, I mean, your small ball tool and indent where the eyes would be in between that, as you can see here. Next, um... I just took my X-Acto blade and indented where the mouth was going to go. I didn't need this line, but I just did it to make it a little better for me. And then I just used the same tool, and I did kind of, it's not the eyebrows, it's the machine part over the eyebrows, so leave room for the eyebrows. Next, I took the purple, and I rolled out small, four small balls of clay. This is going to be for her pigtail hair ties, and her eyebrows as well. <coughs> First, we're going to take the larger ones. This is going to be the hair ties, so you're just going to press it down flat with your finger or your X-Acto knife, which I recommend your X-Acto knife. Just like you see here, you can set that to the side for now. Next, just roll the two small balls in the teardrop shape, and that'll be the eyebrows. <clears throat> you can go ahead and put that on. And next, we're going to go ahead and move on to the red clay. Okay, you're going to see four balls in the next picture, but you actually need four additional small balls. You'll see in the pictures later. I just made an oopsie. But to start out with, I made these four, and we're going to take the two on the left first. They're slightly smaller. These are going to be her pigtails. So you're going to roll them in teardrop shapes and then roll the other ends, like we've done in previous tutorials if you watched any of my other ones. <coughs> <coughs> That's my chair squeaking as always. Then you're going to go ahead and press those down flat, showing off my ring as always, looking cute. I don't like to take it off. And that's how it looks when you press it down flat. Then using a reference picture, as I say a thousand times, you're just going to bend the pigtails to the form that they are in the picture. Next, we're going to make her, um, what do you call it, her bangs. So we're going to take this slightly larger ball, slightly smaller ball than the one on the right, roll this into like a little log shape. Then you're going to take your rolling pin or your X-Acto knife and roll it out nice and flat like we've done here. <clears throat> then just get your long blade and you're going to go ahead and cut off the top, the bottom, and the sides to make it nice and even. Then you're going to indent like her bangs are really bumpy like rainbows over and over. I just use this dotting tool, but you could use whatever. This is a really small piece, so you know, back of the X-Acto blade, your dotting tool, whatever. Then you're just going to go ahead and put that on. Make sure you don't cover out the cover up the little machine, you know, the little lines above her eyebrows. But then go ahead and stick the pigtails on. You can use glue now. And then you're going to take the next little ball I was talking about. How? No, this is still from the first four. You're going to roll this out flat. This is going to be the back of her hair. And then just go ahead and stick that right on the back of her head. Pretty simple. Now we're going into the next three, which is going to be her cheeks and her mouth. I didn't do her teeth because it would be way too small. They'd be too fragile. And I just went on ahead and stuck the cheeks on, pressed them down, and then put the mouth on in between, cut off excess if needed. And then I put a little ball on her nose and put the blade over it. I forgot to record that for some reason. I don't know. Then just get out your rubbing alcohol and cotton swabs and go ahead and clean this off. Somebody said um, nail polish remover works too, but I don't know. Then I took my small dotting tool and my black acrylic paint and I just put paint on the dotting tool and stuck it in the eye sockets to create the black abyss that is her eye holes. <laughs> Next we're going to make her eyes, so get the white clay back out and roll out two tiny balls. I did this on purpose. I, I usually do the eyes last. It's just my thing. Go ahead and put those in there. You can clean those off too if you need to. I didn't have to. They were already pretty clean. My hands were clean from washing a thousand times. Go ahead and put in your pan. Bake according to package instructions. Wait for that to dry off. I mean, cool down. Then I used this paint kit, primary colors from Walmart, white and black. And I just used the green number four from that kit. You can use any light green to be honest, as long as you got a light green color. Wait for that to dry after you dotted that on, then use the dotting tool to dot on the black. Then use an even sm smaller dotting tool or a Q-tip, I mean not a Q-tip, a toothpick, and dot on the white little shimmers in her eyes. 
And then you just take your polyurethane varnish and go ahead and glaze the front, let that dry, and glaze the back. I glazed it about three times to make sure it's extra secure. Then I used E6000 and glued on the bead bell. And then we're done. I hope you all like this tutorial and stay tuned for more. Thank you all for watching.